Hello everyone and welcome to the demonstration build guide video for the cadet pedals module. As you can see from the introduction, these pedals allow you to control both the rudder and the brake axes, which really helps with the realism, at least I've experienced, perhaps more than any of the other modules I've created. This module by far took the longest to design and is the most complex by a long measure. So if you like it, consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. So without further ado, let's dive in. Let's check out how it works first. So similar to my other projects, uh, we're gonna control everything with one, two, three potentiometers, and we're going to use an Arduino Pro Micro to talk to the computer. Uh, once again, I created a little breakout board and everyone is always asking to see this. Um, I'm not really proud of it, but if you're an electrical engineer, look away for a second as I reveal my shame. So as you can see from a prototyping standpoint, this comes in a lot of help because I can disassemble everything in just a few seconds. But really all I'm doing is rerouting the JST connections so they line up with the pins that I need on the Arduino board, right? I'm rerouting power, ground, and then A1, A2, and A3. So you can see the complete wiring diagram on the Arduino build page. I promise if you can operate a soldering iron, you can put this together in under 15 minutes. I use some mounting tape to fix the Arduino here. Our micro USB cable will slide neatly right under our tensioning arm through that little gap. and it can be plugged right into our board just like that. Now, let's check out the gearing. In the center, we have a potentiometer under this gear that's going to control our rudder movement. This time I was careful to create end stops uh, that are fixed with screws. If they were 3D printed in this place, they would shear off with force, as I found out through prototyping and experimenting with these pedals. These pedals also have gearing with adjustable end stops located here. So you can change the placement of this screw to give you a little bit more travel if that's something that you want. These pedals also have keyways located on either end. The, the keyways are going to help these pedals from twisting loose under torsional stress, but it is very, very important that you create these keyways parallel to one another, because if you do not, your pedals are going to sit at different distances, right? They might be a little bit closer or a little bit farther away. So make sure those keyways are parallel. Lastly, we have our centering mechanism right here. The centering mechanism uses a strong spring located under here to return the pedals to center. The stronger the springs that you use on both the pedals and your centering mechanism, the more resistance you're gonna have when pushing these pedals. This design is quite a bit larger than the other ones. Um, so I've decided to take a little bit different direction with the build guide uh, using Fusion's animation workspace. So. Let me know if this is more helpful. If it's not, leave me a question in the comments and I'll try to clarify.
If you've made it this far, thanks again for checking out this newest cadet project. This one was certainly a fun challenge and I'm really looking forward to the next one. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, consider liking, subscribing, and checking out some of the other projects on the channel. So thanks again and I will see you next time.